Hey guys, Mrs. Jess Outdoors here. So today I feel like a little bit of a hot mess because I spent all afternoon putting in all of my plants, um, at least in the vegetable garden. Put in the raised beds and the big garden and all my potters and everything, they're all planted. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a look around. All right, so here on the porch, um, I have some planters. I have lettuce in all four of those. These are some plants that I started inside. I really didn't have much room for. I don't know what to do with them yet. We'll see. Um, I have onions in this crate I lined with landscape fabric. Might as well use it. I was going to get rid of it. Over here, we have Mr. Sunflower Bucket Challenge, which I'll get into that in another video. Spinach here. So we have our salad growing on the porch. Over here are my new raised beds. I absolutely love them. It was a lot of work to fill them up, but they're really awesome. Um, I have green bell peppers, red bell peppers, more green, more red, zucchini in the middle because I planted 18 zucchini and they all decided to grow. So <laughs> I have to find places for lots of zucchini. Um, we have jalapenos, two of those, another zucchini, and two red chili peppers. Here I started my cabbage. You can see they're just sprouting right there. And another zucchini. So there's four cabbage in that bed, one zucchini. Here we have one zucchini, again in the middle, and six Brussels sprouts. And I put it in there. All right, now back to the big garden. All right, so here in the back, I did rows straight across the fence line to kind of make like a, a privacy fence, really. Um, I have mammoth sunflowers at the very back. And then right in front of them, I have a row of sweet corn. So it goes all the way along the entire back of the garden. Um, in between those, I put in what was left of my onion set and then some garlic to take advantage of all the space I could. Here we have cherry tomatoes. And then I put in three just regular big tomatoes there. So they're going to take up this portion. Again, like I said, all along the back is the row of the corn and the sunflowers. Um, here I did mounds. I have three mounds. And on, in the mounds, I have carrots, radishes, and beets. And then I did mounds just horizontally. So over here, I have my melons. I did heirloom watermelons and um, muskmelons, cantaloupe, and also two rows of pickling cucumbers, which are just starting. Um, next, I did three rows, two rows of green beans and one row of sugar snap peas because my girls love them. They'll just eat them right off the vine, so I always grow some for them. Um, and I built this little, I don't know, climbing cage thing with a gardening string and some garden rods. Uh, so they all have something to climb up. And then over here, this has been here. This is my perennial bed I've shown you guys earlier. But my strawberries are all getting blossoms. I'm very excited. I've got herbs just going nuts. I've got to thin those out this year. My rhubarb I've already harvested. And I need to again. And same with the asparagus. So everything's really just going great. Um, hopefully we don't get any random frosts, you know, every once in a while. It seems like every time I plant, we get one. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, I will keep you guys posted and hopefully in a few weeks, we'll see some growth. Talk to you later. Bye.